To twist them as tight as a string you might use when you're flying a kite. Chim chim in a chim chim, jerry chim chim. six nannies in the last four months and they've all been unqualified disasters. A nanny should govern. A nanny should rule. A nanny is a parent and who suffers with rule. Nannies in school. Our children would gain by having such a nanny in Cherry Tree Lane. Briefcase. Umbrella. manage Miss Andrew's standards of efficiency. Besides, we can never afford someone to her. Now, state an advertisement in the Times, stating that Jane and Michael Banks require the best possible nanny at the lowest possible wage. Father, we've written our advertisement. What's it on earth? Um, I think we should hear it.
Mary Poppins. Jane, don't stare. And close your mouth, Michael. We are not a codfish. Best foot forward. Miss Rose, Miss Rose. She's tricky. Mary Poppins, how could you know we wanted dinner nanny? When we made our list. Your list? I am not an item in the weekly shop, thank you very much. How did you come here then? It's as if the wind blew you here. It did. Now, stand over there. I thought. A noisy, mischievous, troublesome little boy. <laughs> You're making that up. A, a noisy, mischievous... Thoughtless, short-tempered and untidy. I don't believe you. Let me see. What about your legendary puppies? I'm practically perfect in every way. Mary, 
You go to places you never dream of. All it takes is a spark. And it's something as plain as a park becomes a wonderland. All you have to do is look at you. Then you'll understand why it's a jolly old dark Mary. Mary makes your heart so light. Oh, when the day is bright, Lord and Mary. Mary makes the sun shine bright. Oh, happiness is blowing all around her. The daffodils are smiling with the dark. When Mary holds your hand, you feel so grand. Your heart starts beating like a beat for us to dance. Oh, it's a jolly holiday with Mary. No wonder that it's Mary that we love. Come on, you two.
Oh, Michael, all he cares about is flying kites. I used to love flying kites at his age, but my nanny Miss Andrews soon to get that out of me. Is it hard of the question to do that to nanny? Try to be absurd. Well, the best of people have nannies. So wives can stay at home and do charity work and entertain. Which reminds me, how is your tea party coming on? I'm not sure. It seems so odd to send out invitations to people I hardly know. They're people you should know. Remember, by your friends shall ye be judged. That's the point. They're not my friends. Winifred, dearest, I'm only thinking of you. I'm going to say something to Mary Poppins about this afternoon. I don't think so. Very well. Just make sure she's doing things our way and not hers. Wings go shake, kites can turn, sea or swim, see what you learn. Me, I was told, when I was small, just learn a trade, so I learned them all. Chin chin and a chin chin dream. Are you quite sure you know how to ice it? Quite sure, and in case you're worried, I have not been exchanged for the Fred Ferris for a total nincompoop. I'll just go up and check the drawing room. I'd like to be helpful, and I'd like to be rich, but destiny for otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> Mother wants me in the drawing room. She says she can tell Robert and I what to do. Does she indeed? Please, Mrs. Brill, I don't mind. Honest! Alright, I will give you one task, and one task only. Get the item tools from the cupboard and put them next to the cake. Do you think you can manage that? Is that all? Do you? Yes, for me. <laughs> I suppose playing in ancient Rome was on a pleasure cruise compared to my life in this house. Because we don't know how. Don't be so feeble. Get the eggs and the flour. Are there eggs in I too? There are in mine. <laughs> Robert and I, bring me the cake. Oh, 
didn't find her a grave. Well, if you did, she must have put the item in his head somehow. What an impertinent thing to say. The word. I see Herman Hostler is coming in again today. Have you made your decision? I believe so, sir. Good, good. Be sure it's the right one.
kids. Hello. Hello. We're off to Miss Corey's talking shop. Care to join us? Talking shop? Who's Mrs. Corey? Who's Mrs. Corey? Mrs. Corey's older than anyone in the world. She talked to William before he went conquering, Vlad before he went paying, and to Alexander before he went so great. That's impossible! Anything can happen if you let it.
Everything all right? No. Everything's all wrong. After I refused to loan the bank some money to some German chap, he went to our chief rivals. They gave him the money, and now it looks set to be a gold mine. Well, they can't expect you to get it right every time. That's exactly what they expect. Chim, 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 chim,
exactly what it's bringing. Good news or sad, happy or sad, the pendulum keeps swinging. A gentle grace that knows the trace becomes an arsy blast. It's from the struggle on, and now six weeks has passed. Sent out for the past six weeks, I've been doing all the work, looking after the children ever since she left, and now I'm doing, and now I'm doing all the work to welcome her back. If only you knew how hard it was to track her down. Oh really, Mum? Fancy that, Mrs. Brill? It is her, isn't it? Well, who else could it be? George, I do believe you're going to be quite surprised. Winifred, you know very well I hate surprises. I do think you're going to be quite proud of me. Hurry up, everybody. I want to just find everything. Split spot, thick and span. and span. Good luck. 
Why would shaking your hands bring me good luck? Didn't anyone tell you it's like to shake a chimney sweep's hand?
You two are so naughty to go running off like that, and I should be as mad as anything. If I weren't so pleased to see you. Where's Miss Andrew? She's gone. Gone? Why? She didn't give a reason, ma'am. since you left us and... Uh, About my wages, sir. If you don't mind, I won't take any just now. I should prefer to let them accrue. But if you only knew how many payments were accruing as it is... Now I must get started. Jane, Michael, Spitspot. Come along, dear. After so many years of good service, you make a mistake. What's the worst that can happen? When you fit, if I am to be dismissed by the bank, we'll be destitute. Well, we'll still have what really matters children and each other.
you shit you need done? Back to the nursery! Back to the nursery!
Okay. We want to know why. Then I'll tell you why. I refused Miss Von Hustle's scheme because it was hollow. You talk about assets and profits and growth, but there wasn't a word about people. I apologize for ruining the bank, but I do not apologize for understanding that there are more important things in life than making your money. My dear chap, when Hustler's feelings has ruined our rival and the nastiest scandals was wrecked began, we don't want your apologies. We're offering ours. Oh my word. And, uh, and another thing, you remember giving a loan to a fellow called Northbrook? Well, he's repaid it in two new factories. The percentage you negotiated, we have accept to make a fortune. Oh my word, damn. That's just it. We very much hope you might tell us how you did it. Just give us the word. It will be quite safe with us. Give me the word. Give me the word. I'll give you a word, all right? Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious! <laughs> Even though the sound of it is something quite a joke. If you say it loud enough, you'll know it's a ghost. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious! Forgive it's not his fault. It's not his fault, it's not true. Holy terror! That's what we get to do, I know. Then now's your chance to forget it. It's all right, dear. I've made the bank of fortune. <laughs> <laughs> By way of recompense, we'd like to offer you the job of senior manager with a salary at double. Exactly? How much has he made for you? Triple. <laughs> Quadruple your present rate. Close your mouth, George. We are not a cottage. <laughs> well? Well, you must understand one thing. From now on, family comes first. Agreed? Agreed. Oh, George. Winfred, I'm afraid I've underestimated you.
from what's of love from Mary Poppins. Where's Mary Poppins? Gone. Gone and how peculiar. Don't worry. She'll be back. Now, what do you think of this? It's the best I've ever seen. Can we fly it together? Oh, Father. Yeah.